Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Boys Season 4, Episode 6. Little by little, you know, we're getting close to the end of this season. We have three episodes normally to discover, like it's a season of eight episodes for what I know. That's cool. Today, a new episode, like after the end of the last one, we've butchered the fact that we discovered that he captured this guy and all of that without anyone noticing it. And surely he's gonna torture him, he's gonna force him to do stuff. And he was talking to his friend, to Joe Negan, Negan Joe, name him as you want, you know who I'm talking about, his FBI friend, you know my theory that I have since almost we met him, no, almost, like the fact that he's not real. If Becca is not real, I think that this guy is not real because we never saw that guy talking with anyone else than Butcher, and each time that guy appeared, when his group, you know, his team was against him, didn't want to do things like him, and that guy was each time intervening to push him to, to do things on his own, to do bad stuff and all. So I'm really seeing him like if Becca is the angel, you know, the angel side, Joe Negan is really the devil side. For me, it doesn't exist. And really, the last scene of the previous episode, for me, confirms it with the fact that when he was talking to that guy about the fact that uh, you know I'm gonna torture you, I'm gonna do what I want with you, he was also talking with Johnny Gunn, Butcher, and we saw the guy really being like, who are you talking to? Like he didn't say it, but you know his eyes were looking at where Butcher was looking and, and clearly it, he was confused. So I'm gonna keep that theory and for me also their background which was explained during the moment, you know, that they met again, for them again, you know, uh, it was about Butcher who managed to save that guy at some point. For me, in fact, Butcher never saved that guy. That guy died. So, you know, like for Becca, he's feeling guilty and his subconscious is making Becca coming and discussing with him. I think that this guy, Johnny Gunn, died also at some point, maybe because of Butcher, or at least Butcher is feeling guilty about it, and that's why his subconscious is bringing the guy again to torture him, to haunt him, something like that. We know that Butcher, he has really a story, an entire background with feeling guilty about stuff, like with his family, everything, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if the guy died and Butcher is feeling guilty about it. So that's already a big theory that I have. I'm not expecting it to be revealed truly, I think, until the end of the season now, because that guy is gonna get tortured and also he's not gonna have the time to talk with Butcher and to tell him truly, who are you talking to? Like, really? <laughs> that person is not there. And for Butcher to talk with Johnny Gunn in front of someone else, I don't think that it can happen. You know, he's gonna protect himself that much that. It can't happen until a moment of weakness or something like that. We'll see. During the last episode, we had also Yui saying goodbye to his father after his father committing all of that. <laughs> like really, how he killed all of these people, you know, with this power that he discovered, uh, passing his hands, you know, through things and all like that, that was awful. And awful for him to do that without really being conscient of it, to realize all of what he did when finally he was conscient. And I think that they took clearly the right decision by deciding to finishing him, letting him go. And I think that it was also a sweet thing, you know, all of the references when he died about Yui, you couldn't let anyone die, you know, you're not good at letting people go 
And right there, he managed to let his father go. All of that thing also about Paris, the fact that he wanted to visit Paris and all. It was a sweet moment, a difficult one, but a sweet one. Right now, you know, into the show, I'm worried a lot about Starlight. We so isolated. I'm worried about the girl. For sure, I could be worried about Frenchie who just gave himself to the police saying that he committed crimes and I'm not even sure that he's only talking about Colin's family, you know, maybe he's gonna confess really all of his crimes. I'm proud of him. For sure, I'm worried about him, what is gonna happen to him in the future, how long he's gonna last in jail, what is gonna happen, but I'm proud of him because he took the responsibility of his actions showing that he really wants to change and that really, yes, I'm proud of him for that. For sure, we have all of the other characters like Mother Smear, Kimiko, they have their own issues on their own, but that's really the characters that I'm really keeping an eye on right now. For sure, I'm keeping an eye on Homelander. What Homelander is doing with Ryan, the fact that he managed to manipulate him so easily during the previous episode that Ryan found really normal, totally normal, to say to a girl, beat that guy in front of me. Like really, that was normal and you enjoyed that, Ryan. Uh, you know, I thought at the beginning of the season that maybe Butcher could have a window to, to convince the kid to, to come back with him. I'm like, no, it's not gonna happen. Like, little by little, Armlander is, is taking his heart, you know, in the sense that he managed to convince Ryan that Ryan is never gonna have to be forced to do anything that he doesn't want to do, that there are gods, that people are just obeying to them, that yes, he can do justice, he can really save people, uh, like with doing stuff like that. So for a kid like him, like he's just a kid, we have to consider that he's just a kid, it's easy to, to to manipulate a kid like that with stuff like that so and also with celebrity and all so I'm really thinking that this season is not gonna end well for Ryan for trying to have Ryan back not seeing it uh, yes ending well that okay I'm gonna stop this intro right now remember that if you want to have my Patreon on which you have this episodes of the boys earlier I'm publishing them on my Patreon on Friday when for YouTube you have to wait for Monday so it's really four days of advance on my Patreon you're gonna have now on my Patreon a longer reaction part if you want with the level 2 or the full reaction part if you prefer with the level 3 it's something new on my Patreon now with the level 3 you have the full reaction part just one video you have four days of advance, all of that. It's the best way to support me, my Patreon, if you want and if you can. So check it, you know, you have the link in the description and you can support me if you want and if you can. Like really, it can be truly appreciated. I'm a little reactor on YouTube and on Patreon and right now I have a lot of issues. I'm trying to find solutions and I have a plan on mind. Like I'm gonna begin soon the second activity, but to help me to begin that second activity, I need, you know, to, to open the crowdfunding. It's not something that I do with a smile and all, like uh, I'm feeling ashamed the fact that I have to open a crowdfunding, but it's like that. So if you guys, you want to participate to it, even a little or a lot, <laughs> if you're in chest, you have the, the link also into the description. It's my tip page, you know. Okay, let's go for this episode. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, motherfucker. <laughs> They just confirmed with one move my theory. Negan, you know, Johnny Negan woke him up, and in fact, we saw that it was Butcher who did it. He doesn't want to see you. Inmate refuses visitation. Next! 
French you can't do that if you're breaking my heart and her heart. You left the country? I mean, you can run that fast, okay. This is so fucked. So, before Cameron got beaten to death, Homelander was seen putting soups together like a... An army? And then A-Train saw Tech Knight talking to Sage. Looked like they were planning something. But you want to talk to Tech Knight? But he's having a family with his... Tech Knight? We know him? Knight. Come from him, How are we supposed to sneak into an alt-right cocktail party? Thought you would never ask. Web Weaver? <laughs> Really, with the actual context in France, I'm not sure that I want to see that cocktail with these guys. Voice, you eat. It's gonna be difficult for you to escape if he reveals that he knows that you're not who you seem to be. Everything right there, like.
It justifies it. Are you even trying to get him out anymore? Or is this just the same old bloodlust all over again? It should be your priority. I'm trying to save the bleeding world here. Clarence's gonna get spilled. I can't do what needs to be done and keep you happy. You're gonna kill one homelander to stand up with another. To give more strength and motivation to all of the others. She's your good side, Niganjo is your bad side. Actually, we know if the rape is legitimate, the woman's body has a way to reject that pregnancy. Nationwide ban on abortion is just good policy. Was a real cure? I cure cancer. Reverse global warming. But what's the point? Humans are animals. And the lines at Vault Manor are small as it is. Oh, you're really on the same page than Amanda with that, with the fact that there are gods, you know, and humans both. No. You went around. It's great party, huh? Y'all see all the free shirts I got? Sorry, Kyber. It's kind of a private conversation. The bar has... Between the big guys, so not you. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. That's it. He talked with his good side, now he's talking with his bad side. I'm convinced of it. That's what he thinks. You, you never came back home. That's my theory. The real me. The real me likes to hear him scream. So now tell me, Billy. Who's the real you? Do you like that also? Huh. Should we go back to the party? Oh, this is the party, baby. I want to play with you too. <laughs> How can I put that on YouTube and all like I'm gonna have issues with that? No? Oh, I'm never gonna feel sad for you, like. Uh, Really, it's gonna take me more than just. Uh, Fuck. Like you are not even not humiliated right there. What you here for? Or just 
Tschüss, tschüss, bitte, dann kannst du